<laughs> Boom! Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna put the I wanna put the machines down, but I wanna uh jeez. Oh, okay, now feeding them from the bottom is fine with inner TV because it's the you did the front and the top or the two of these. Twenty-one timers. If I need more, we can make more. Do you have the the two transformer upgrades and the medium voltage transformer blocks? Ah oh, crap! It's all in that chest. Okay. The what? The what? No, no, I got it. What you put in the chest is what I needed. So that's oh, okay. safe. I put the timers in the wrong shit. I just realized something else I have to go build and it's a pain in the ass. Where is it? I know it's on this map somewhere. I need one, two, three, four, five stacks of cobblestone, two stacks of wood, one stack of that, and one stack of that. The skeletal structure of my cathedral is done. Nice. Lockers to, or you can't put it. Well, in the mace reader you can. Yeah, in the extractor you can, but it's once it's sped up, it's really fast, and it makes like three at a time from the sticky resin. So. Mm -hmm. okay. So, okay. I think that should be almost ready to go.
Well, as that is now producing rock, what did I need to do? Oh, I need glass too. Fuck. Yeah, so now, it's, now it's a matter of figuring out how to actually hook them all up together. What do you mean? You mean like putting all the tubes in between them? Putting in all the tubes, putting in your inputs into these things and piping them out, yeah. And then we also need the energy flowers underneath pumping shit up. Yep. So, so the idea yeah. that I have is sticky resin goes in here, rubber comes out, uh, iron bars go in here, and refined iron comes out. Because this is lined up in a long Also, oh, technically, you don't need to put our clockers in there. No, they're the high end ones, right? Like, the, once, they're, once they're running full tilt, like, they're pretty fast. Oh, I never knew that. As long as you have a, a redstone signal applied to it, it'll keep spinning up even when it's empty. So that's what the lever's for. So you can turn the machine on and off. Oh, so technically if I go downstairs and take out the overclockers and put levers above my machines and turn them on, technically everything will go like crazy? Yeah, only if they're, yeah, if, if they're the upgraded ones, like the centrifuge and the induction and all that stuff. Like the top end machines, you just put a lever on and they'll, and they'll stay spun up at full speed. I mean, you can, you can put overclockers in them. And oh, them you mean you have to build the roti the rotisserie macerator? Yeah, <laughs> rotary. Yeah, yeah. Rotary. Oh, so you have to build those ones. I don't have those. Yeah, you have to. I have to upgrade to that, and then it'll work. I, think. I don't know if you can turn on the device this time. <laughs> <laughs> Just the shit okay. Um. Yeah, everything we're gonna need is in here so far, except for the uh, energy collectors and all that shit. Okay, I'm going to try and lay out some of the tubing. Just bear with me because I think the outs have to come out of the tops of these tables. Well, anything that sucks out, you need to have one of those uh, extract uh, transporters. Right, okay. This is going to come out and go straight into here, isn't it? So, it is. wait, wait. This one has to be sucked out and shoved into this one? Yeah, so I was, I figured you, I think the out is the top, so you need to put your thing there. And then, I think it just... Um, put like another piece of cobblestone above this. Oh, and put the pipe there, right, okay. And then, no, 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 put one there. Now take out the bottom one underneath it. to do that oh okay right and then when you apply a current to the pipe it'll activate that thing suck it well, you out have to, you have to turn it around with a screwdriver don't you no it'll work no matter what huh. i'm pretty that's sure why I have the it. angles roll like when you when you hit it with a screwdriver or like right click on the screwdriver the hole changes like it rotates around and spins around in different places with those or just um or is that with anything uh with this mod Okay, I don't know what you made. Whatever. <laughs> I'll Here, I'll show you. Um, like, this one's already... You already got stuff in there to make it, right? Uh, yeah, I do. It'll it'll work if you if you activate it. You mean if you... Oh, you mean if I suck something out of it? It should work, yeah. There's, a, there's enough to suck out of it there. This one is... It's not connecting. Not good. Supposed to come out of the top. Automatic cracking. Nope. Okay, maybe it has to come on the side. Then. Put it on the side, and I have to do it on the side because it has to. It comes out of that hole at the top. Well, no, it says the top of the block is the output side. You can use a transposer, filter, or build craft pipes to pump out of here. You might I'm want to use a screwdriver to get the orientation of the filter transposer right. 
Yeah, I think the I think um, you had that in the right spot, and I think you had it in the right way. But I think the, the pneumatic tube has to actually go out of the top of it. So why don't we just stick it on the side? Well, no, because the side the, the output of the crafting table is always the top, is what it's saying. So okay, put, so I just need to put. If you if you hold shift and click, it'll work. You can actually shift yeah. click if you're quick, and it'll. But you've already done that, so that's fine. Okay, so then I think what we need to do is put the pipe like. Yeah, and then run it into that. The top. Yeah. Okay. Try okay, that. And then let's sketch this. I should have actually been blocked. Oh yeah. There and I'll just go. I'll just disconnect it for now. And this, click on it, and you can set it to whatever seconds or whatever. Nice, nice. Okay. So if we need like 20 seconds for like the whatever is pumping stuff into this. So how does it? Because we're gonna need two things pumping into this. We're gonna need copper and rubber, and then stuff that's getting from um from. So technically, I could put an energy flower directly behind it. You do realize that, like right here. Just showing it full of copper. Yeah, we've got to get the rubber flowing over here. Just think I would this again. That's one of the reasons I was like, huh? Huh? Well, I just, I wanted to, I don't know how big you want to make this, right? So. I don't care as long as it works. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll have pipes whizzing everywhere. Let's see. Uh, That's why I built so many. Okay, I'm going to turn this thing up to like 12 seconds so it's not going to click, 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 click. Yeah, but that's basically how you power those. Okay, can you if I put a piece of cobble there, can you slap one of those uh, pickups on top? Okay. I have no clue if that'll work with that thing. I have no clue, but oh well. They're from two different mods, I think, so. They're, suppo they're supposed to work. I so we know. have to run that all the way over to that? Yeah. It's gonna take forever. Hope this thing produces it like, man. well, you gotta watch out because you, what's this one right here? Yeah. Put yeah, them in a line this? because I, I thought it would be a little bit easier, but we can we can move this around. Just go up higher. Oh, but there's. Take you. Can, it doesn't matter about the torch. Do eventually I'm gonna go through here and and. Yeah, but the... if I go one higher, it's still gonna connect with the same pipe, right? So I should I should go around the front, I think, because the back is gonna be used for. See, what we need to do is we need something where <laughs> this technically this should be done at the other end, right next to that. Yeah. We don't uh, need this huge floor for it, right? But I mean, yeah, okay, I get what I get it because then we can we can change. You can come together. straight at that, over. straight into this, and then I can run a uh, energy flower into this to supply the uh, copper, maybe a tier two or something. Okay, if you've got a, a good idea for like layout, do you mind helping me move all these machines over then? I can I can reprogram them and everything, but just like you can just use a pickaxe equivalent and just break them down. Because we're gonna want to, I guess we're gonna want to use the rest of the floor to actually like tear up the the solar panels into the next ones, right? Yeah. What we should have is we should have like a row like this that makes into that and that and then that and then that and then that and then like this one should be like the very end where everything combines, like all the circuits combine, all the generators combine, all the. All those should go straight into this, and then it should pump out into a chest. Yeah. And then yeah, the, so and then I'll make a floor that makes. Um, so we're gonna need the rubber coming into it, and we're gonna need the copper coming into it, and you've got a chest there. So let's. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna take these chests away, pull them over here. Um, I gotta count. Well, no, I'll, I'll build an energy flower on the floor below, and I'll pump up copper up to it. Because there ain't enough room on this floor to put an energy flower. Of course, like you said, I could just build half an energy flower. I'm gonna be planning, didn't you say that? Yeah, I think I think even half an energy flower half is gonna be too free. fast, right? So I want to leave room to get to the the uh, the front of that as an input for the. Oh shit! <laughs> you want to go around the back? I want this to come into the side just because. Um, Run it into this side. 
because this this here this one is going to be the where the sticky resin's got to go into this machine so i don't want them crossing you know what i mean does it have to go in the front or can it go in the I side i think it has to go in the front that's why it's different you have to go in the front out the top or in the top out the front i can't remember which way so we may have, huh. to, we may have to change it around with we'll the test so um actually we can probably do that now well i have a thing downstairs we could test it with technically Okay, well, this this is going to need sticky resin, right? So, if we put a chest down, that's going to be the intermediate, I guess, from the flower, and then... Let's... Well, do you want it going into a chest from the uh, condenser? Probably, like, into a chest from the flower, and then pump from the chest into there, so that it's got a bit of a buffer. Alright, I'm going to dig down one floor, and, like, this is where the pipe will come up, or actually... Where does it need to go into this? Does it need to go in the side or in the front? I think it needs to go into the front. Well, if it needs to go in the front, then I'm just going to cut straight down and build the energy flower right here underneath. Okay. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Should I put, like, can we pump over the top of the chest? I think you can. Shit. Um, I'm going to have to build half an energy flower stage three. Like, I'm just going to go build a whole bunch of energy flower materials, like all the stuff that I need. That way I have them if we need to make higher ones or lower ones, and I'll just make, like, enough to make one entire high-powered... Shit, what materials would be handy to go back upstairs and dump these things off so I have plenty of room in my inventory to make this stuff. Yeah, like, if, if we get this actually up and running, I think Jordan's going to shit his pants when he sees it. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what the boop? I'd be like, yep, we built this. <laughs> okay, so another one of those pickup pieces, I think, in here. And then we can have the flower feed and sticky resin straight into this chest. And well, I gotta go down to make the flower really quickly. And then that should feed into there. And that's power. It should go. Okay, so that might do for this. And then this one I'll just program. I need diamond block things. I gotta go way down below. I think what I'll do is I'll just make a stack of uh, stage three antimatter relays and stage three uh, collectors, an entire stack of each, because oh, I can easily I can easily do that. Oh, goddamn slimes are down here again. Bastards. Go away, Mr. Slime Block. They have me trapped against the ceiling. I can't move. Die, slimies. And I gotta go store the slime somewhere. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, two stacks of diamond block. Plenty. We need one stack of red matter. One stack of dark matter. Fly up and I can condense the rest of the shit that I need. So, okay, we're gonna run it down this way, I guess. So, uh, grab a whole shitload of that, because I'm gonna need it all. Need one stack of glass. Well, actually, technically, I need two stacks of glass. All right, I need marble. All right. okay. Go mine it. <laughs> I'm trying to. Uh, went into old Jordan's mining pits and I can't find marble at all. <laughs> uh, typical Jordan. It's like, where the hell's the marble? Really? That was four short. That needs the refined iron, which is gonna come out of this anyways. This is too far. Okay. Fuck me, I'm gonna need ten tons of obsidian. <laughs> Can't believe I'm building this this many. I'll take one. <laughs> I'm building a, dude, I'm building a stack. Of stage three collectors and stage three uh, antimatter relays. That's enough to make like 
five energy flowers. Enough. But I'm probably not even going to use half of it. Oh, wrong chest again. I have so many things next to each other, I keep on going in the wrong thing. Oops. Wrong one. Oops. Wrong one. Okay, now I need... Oh, looks like I'm going to need, I'm gonna need more of that again. in a stack of stage uh, Mark III relays. Nice. Now I have to go make the collectors. Yeah. <laughs> see how, see how enthusiastic about that I am? <laughs> Yay.